You can now use Google's Assignment app in Schoology. To use this, you first click Add Materials. You'll now see Google Assignments off to the right-hand side. This is different from the Google Drive Assignment app. When you first select Google Assignments, you'll have to link your account. Click on Link and it will create a folder in your Google Drive for all of the assignments that you assign through this app. Now we're ready to create an assignment. At the top, we put our point value and we can make it anything that we want. And then we put in the title of our assignment. We can add any instructions that we want. And we can also use Google's rubric feature. You can create a new rubric right here. You can reuse one or you can import one from Google Sheets that you've created using a specialized template. The next option is to turn on Google's originality reports. This is Google's plagiarism detector. If I turn this on, it'll give you a notice that you will have the ability to use three originality reports. However, we will have Google Enterprise, so we will be able to use unlimited originality reports. This will check your students' work against resources out on the web and also against other students' work, even from past assignments. I'm going to turn it on and go ahead and click Continue. A benefit of this is that students can also run three originality reports themselves before turning in their work, so they can see their own originality report. We have another video showing you the full features of Google's originality reports for you to watch. Now I can attach any templates or links that I want for my student. If I want, I can find a template on my Google Drive and assign it directly to my students. Notice that right away it'll tell you that each student will get a copy of the files that you've attached here. At the top, you can add a due date if you would like to. Now we can go ahead and click Create. Notice that the material is added right here. To grade this, I click on it and it opens up the assignment description. It shows me how many have submitted and how many have not. Let's have a student complete this assignment so you can see how to grade using this app. As a student, I can click on the assignment. The first time that students use the assignment app, they will need to click Sign In. And then they select their account. They'll also need to click Link because their assignments will also live in their Google Drive. Here the student can see the attached template, they can see the rubric, and they can expand any portion of the rubric to see the full description. They can add additional files to the assignment from their Google Drive. They can create files right here, and they can also run the originality report themselves. Again, there's a video showing students how to run the originality reports as well. Once the student has completed the assignment, they can go ahead and click Submit. Now let's flip back over to the teacher's end. When I open that assignment one more time, I'll now see that a student has submitted the work. I can open up the assignment and it will open up in Google Drive's Assignment Grader. In the upper left-hand corner, I can select the drop-down arrow and I can see all students who have submitted the assignment and those also who have not submitted the assignment from the class. I can organize the names by first name, last name, or by status. If I click on status, those that haven't been graded yet will appear at the top. To grade the assignment, it's just like I'm in Google Docs. I can leave comments and it will start me out in suggestion mode. I can then use the rubric to very easily highlight how the student did. Notice that as I select the value on the rubric, it automatically totals the points for the student. I can also see if there are any flagged passages. This is from Google's originality report. If I open up the no flagged passages, it'll show me if it finds any matches against the web or any matches against other students. Again, there's another video showing you how to look at all of the originality reports. When you're finished grading all of your students' work, you can click Return for an individual student, or you can click the drop-down arrow and choose to return multiple submissions at one time. 
When you click that, it'll give you a preview of each student's assignment that you are returning and the grade that you have assigned them. When you're happy, you can click Return. There's also a spot below the rubric for you to write overall feedback to individual students. Additionally, there is a comment bank. So if you are consistently using the same comments, you can go ahead and add them to your bank. This makes it really easy for you to put in comments to each student without having to retype everything over and over again. Now when I look at the assignment in Schoology, I see the status and I see the grade. In order for these grades to show up in your gradebook, you are going to need to click the gear icon next to the assignment in Schoology and select Edit. Here, you'll need to change your category to whichever category you are using, the scale, etc. Once you've done that and you click Save Changes, you'll see the assignment appear in your gradebook and those student scores will automatically import for you.